you know, and climb a normal route. You spend a lot of time making sure your footwork is good. This is all muscle memory, um, a little bit of peripheral vision, and a lot of muscle memory. Have a look on your left here from Indonesia, Bedrick Leonardo um, teasing for a world record, and Linus Bader from Germany on your right, um, just uh, up against one of the best. Great reaction time slip there for Linus, but Bedrick is going to keep it going. Ben. Leonardo from Indonesia. And on the right, Yaroslav Tukac from the Ukraine. You'll notice a lot of the athletes closing their eyes and just visualizing running through that speed route one more time before they face the wall, taking those deep breaths before they're going to be so explosive as they start their runs. Ready? Really fast reaction. Oh my gosh, Cedric really going for it here. Explosive. Extremely fast. Stay in that zone. Couple rounds to go, and we're going to crown our podiums in the first speed event of the season on the second weekend of our back to back World Cups here in Salt Lake City. Uh, and we still do have a chance. Also has his eye on the World Cup World Record time. And for John Brosler, a podium is something that he has his eye on. So, in addition to everyone's always trying to go for that world record, but a podium is something he hasn't had before. Either has Vedrick, but this is like an earlier World Cup for him. <laughs> he hasn't done as many. Big moment for John Brosler. Ready? Oh, oh, wonderful start. start. Vedrick here. John kind of trying to keep up, not able to pass him, but great run. The, the, the two tenths difference it was changes that everything. moment. Alexander doesn't have to change her pace and uh, comes away with a gold medal. But fantastic, fantastic Very run for Very fantastic. Behind. So this is perhaps the round uh, we've watched <laughs> the evening to see on the men's side. Uh, the two teammates from Indonesia, Kiramel and Vedrik, fighting for gold and silver and fighting for, I'm just going to say it, maybe a second world record on the weekend. They're definitely both capable of going faster. And they've been training together. So this is a very comfortable Ready? position. So let's hope that they can make it happen. Madrid on the right moving really, really, really well. And he's got to do a What a way to end the competition for Madrid Leonardo. 5.208, a new world record here in Salt Lake City in the final for the gold medal against his teammate. I feel that that's the story you would have written looking forward to this weekend. I mean, so exciting. He had so many great runs today, but he was just not as fast as Caramel all day to save it for the very end. Vedrick Leonardo walking away with not only the win, but a new world record with 5.208 seconds as his teammate Caramel Katabin takes a moment to congratulate his teammate. I mean, for Indonesian speed climbing, this is just so big. These men are so fast. The start for Kiramal was a little slower a than little we've bit. seen all day, and Vedrick really just took it away. And that's the difference. I mean, uh, Kiramal doesn't have, I mean, he misses the buzzer at the end. It's irrelevant at that point. He doesn't yeah. have a bad run by no, any stretch. Not at all. Uh, he just goes a little slower off the start than maybe normally, and Vedrick just. A lot more powerful than he has been powerful. all day, and just so efficient, able to put it all together. So exciting to see a world record in the final, the final, final, the, the final, big final, final. final. <laughs> like, it couldn't be any better. Another look. Let's a slow motion look here. You see on the right, Vedrick really yeah. exploding. That bobble on the left Is from the Kiramal. And it does. It's just very, very subtle things that happen, and they can change the entire race. But great climbing and a great representation here in Salt Lake City from the Indonesian climbers. And I know that uh, it's... Uh, middle of the night in Indonesia but this will be they were saying earlier this will be on the news in the morning so it's great to see climbing making it past